Good evening. Today is Sunday, March 14th, 2021, the fourth Sunday in Lent. As many of you may know, March is uh, Women's History Month. And so I thought I would um, take this opportunity to play a piece of music by a famous woman, perhaps not as famous as she ought to be. Um, her name was Fanny Mendelssohn. She was the older brother of Felix Mendelssohn. She married uh, Wilhelm Hensel, uh, a court artist in Berlin. And she was born in 1805 and died in 1847 uh, of a stroke, uh, as her brother did six months later. Uh, she was quite a talented young woman. Uh, was very interested in the music of Bach. She had studied keyboard with Johann Kernberger, who was one of the last students of J.S. Bach. And here's a picture of her, a sketch done by her husband. I hope you can see that reasonably well. Uh, she was a very attractive young woman. Um, it is said that by the time she was 15, she could play from memory all 48 of the preludes and fugues of Bach's well-tempered clavier. She and Wilhelm had one child, a son, whom they named Sebastian in honor of Bach. The piece I'd like to play for you today um, is an andante in F major, um, and it's one of the few organ works that still exist by Fanny Mendelssohn. She wrote quite a bit, but as was often the case in the 19th century, she was forbidden by her family to publish her music or be a public performer. Um, soon before she died, her brother Felix agreed to her publishing uh, a group of songs. Unfortunately, she died six months later and Felix another six months after that. Um, it's unfortunate that we don't have more of her work. This particular piece, the Andante in F major, is not quite a tour de force of organ work, but sh clearly shows the influence of Bach and also Beethoven in its um, harmonic uh, transitions. I hope you'll enjoy this piece. Uh, so this is the Andante in F major by Fanny Mendelssohn Hensel.
I wish you a pleasant evening.